Pokemon Company. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Okay. Let's get started with the first topic. Taking my glasses Have off for this. At the following footage. Two thousand six. Please wait. Oh my god, I'm blind. I, I need my glasses actually. I take it back. Twenty twenty. Damn. Damn, you guys were old. Oh my god, they recreated this little animation. It's on my leg. I've turned into a Pikachu. Okay, okay, so this is- I did dungeon. see this. I did Press already see this, so I'm yes. not shocked. I'm not- Well, I didn't see this. I heard about it. So this is my first time seeing this. Okay. Your first time watching the whole direct? Same. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team DX. Okay, exciting. I mean, not I'm not it's the most excited. I never played Mystery Dungeon. I played like the little dungeon mini games that they had in. Which one was it? It was one of the Pokemon games that had like a little mini game where you could like make your own dungeons and then people come to you. But and it was fun, honestly. Not gonna lie. I don't know if that's the same thing though. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team DX. Will be okay. released March 6, 2020. That's soon. It's two Plus months more, away. We'll release a demo version on Nintendo eShop, available later today. So it's available You'll be able now. To carry over your save data to the full version of the game once purchased. So please take this opportunity to get a sample of the fun. Now, for the other topic, I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Okay, so Mr. this has Kuda, to be the Game Freak is just sharing the shit. Yours. Okay, what are we getting? Dude, they put so much work oh, into everyone. Pokemon games. It's kind of ridiculous how much they put into the game. Hello, Demo hype, I'm yes! <laughs> also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series. Can you catch up, uh, catch up Arnold? I'm gonna play the Demo Shield later. Yeah, Season right? Last November. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. And the Galar region is a vast one. Dude, this looks so good! We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. Okay. So this is just them adding more to the game, We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon okay, Shield expansion, expansion Yeah, I heard about this too. Downloadable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Until now, we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games, such as Pokemon Platinum version, or Pokemon Ultra Sun, and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Okay. This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. Oh, oh my god, is this gonna be the new direction they're doing though? Like for every new, instead of releasing a whole new game, they're basically gonna release like expansions on a game. Which I feel like, I'm, I mean, hopefully it's cheaper than what we would pay for a whole new fucking game. That would be pretty Please, cool. Have a look. Yeah, show us. Show me. I need to see this. <laughs> okay. I have it playing on like two monitors, so I'm like, oh, you're looking back and forth. This is the first reaction we're doing as a stream, by the way. This is the first, this is a new experience. Like, I usually do, the, like, watch these reactions by myself. Like, I'm just by myself watching this shit. Today, we're doing this together, which is pretty cool. I feel like this is, like, a moment. Are we having a moment? Are we cheers, cheers to a moment? New 
new gym leaders? What are they adding? Is the price a spoiler because I know the price? We're having a moment right now. Look me in the eyes. We're having a moment. <laughs> new clothes. We're bonding. Like, oh, this is bo a homie bonding right now. Wholesome bonding. Hey, hey, she's cute. Okay, we baddies. We got baddies? <laughs> We got Venusaur. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Alright, we're getting... He actually looks fucking cool. And I've always been a fucking freaky hater. Calling him a trash monkey. I've been that person. The Isle of Armor. Hey, this is pretty cool. I love the idea. I always... I, okay, I guess I can't be- like, when I first heard that they're just adding an expansion, I was like, yo, they're just adding shit that they should have added to the game in the beginning. But this does seem very different. We've had moments before Chelsea, but I think our first non-toxic moment, right? right fucking now <laughs> the crown tundra oh there's two there's two dlcs not actual game footage okay what are you about to show me then oh who is you <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, these are the- wait. No, I'm confused. I don't know who that is. I'm not even gonna act like a, the legendary birds. That did not look like a bird. That looked like a dog. <laughs> new legendary? Oh, new legendaries. I was what like, what the fuck? <laughs> The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield oh, Expansion Pass. Oh, they're okay. So each game's gonna have its own. Oh. Armor, planned to Are be they released both... June 2020. Wait. And the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in okay, fall. Okay, so they're both getting the same DLC. That's what, I thought it was if gonna be like one Pokemon DLC for one Sword game, one DLC for the other one. Pass, you'll so be I guess able it's not to bad. Enjoy both right? as they're released. Each part offers the a different legendary. adventure. The new legendary. Okay. Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet I still new need people to get and Pokemon the game. Low key. There are two versions of the expansion pass: one for Pokemon Sword and one for Pokemon Shield. Different Pokemon. Oh, they're different versions. The different versions. DLC is two parts, one DLC, but you have to buy the places. DLC per game. We're hoping players can continue. I need to buy this fucking Pokemon game. <laughs> experience of trading with one another. I've been, I've been holding off. So I was now, supposed to get it last view, year. The pause. Pause the direct. Hold on. We're pausing this whole direct because. Let's get this out there. I was supposed to get the game last year during when it came out, like around Thanksgiving time. I was gonna get it because I was going to a friend's giving. I was like, I need to get the game so I have time, something to play while I was on the flight. I had to end. I ended up holding off because I had to pay to get, like, you know, pay when I was out there. I had to buy something while I was out there. So I was like, okay, I'll wait because I don't want to spend an extra money. And then Christmas was around the corner, so I still have not gotten Sword and Shield, you guys. Don't roast me. I have not. So this is all very new to me. I'm like, oh shit. Like the only thing I knew about the game was the stuff that was released before, like the, the like trailers and stuff like that. So I have not played the game yet, and I do want to get Sword, and I've been waiting to get Sword, but I've been just pushing back. Like I don't know what's wrong with me. Echo Ghost is back. Echo Geist. Echo Geist. What? Echo guys, go away. Get the fuck out of my stream. But no, I have not played the game yet. I am going to get it. Soon, I really want to get it, but I'm just like the like the Christmas hold off fucked me up. 
for the traveling during Thanksgiving fucked me up. So right now, this is super fresh. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So whenever I get the game, I'm definitely going to stream it. And then finally, I'll be able to, like, fucking experience it. Because I heard that this game is really good. It's just short. That's the only thing I've heard. And I try to avoid spoilers. If I haven't played a game, I avoid a lot of spoilers. So, low-key, this is kind of a spoiler. My mic hates me. Yo, it really does. But, yeah, we're going to continue to watch. I can be hyped. I can be hyped for this stuff, too, because I actually really want this game. I just have not taken the plunge yet. Okay, so what is this? Hello. The mic is possessed by the ghost of memes. <laughs> I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Okay. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. Oh, it's still in development? So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Okay. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor. Which focuses on the theme of growth. Yo, this guy is silent on it. Look. The blazer? Hey, he's ready. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Galar region known as the Isle of This Island. kind of reminds me of the style of this way too much fighting for dominance. You'll find oh, fighting for dominance, please. caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't please previously find in the Galar dwelling there, too. Stop being a bitch, Mike. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. He made me a mod. Yeah, I did it low key. Under the Pokemon <laughs> trainer who runs it. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. mentor? A He's also the mentor Mustard, like DJ? Rhea, mustard? You probably know quite well. In fact, Mustard has occupied the seat of champion himself in the past. Oh. You'll also Are we going to get backstory on him, though? Among your fellow apprentices. When playing with the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a Poison-type user. When She's playing adorable. with the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic-type okay, that's user. why I got Sword, because you get the Batty and Sword. So that's what I'm gonna get. I'm getting Sword, I swear to God. Legendary Pokemon like that holds Next, we'd to introduce the legendary story? Pokemon that will be central to the story. You made me Cup Fu. It's a fighting type Eight. Pokemon that strives to become stronger with single minded dedication. As you <laughs> progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Once you complete He's your training cute. together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve and into love... Urshifu. Urshifu, okay. Urshifu is a Pokemon with two distinct styles. There is Single Strike style, a fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. Tone B, welcome back to the stream! There is also rapid strike style. A fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing a That's kind of strikes. interesting. So like, based on what style What's he's more, using, he gets, oh, he gets Urshifu a gigamax form. Okay. Has a gigantamax form. Each style will have a different appearance, as well as a different G Yo, what's up? You'll be able to evolve your Cub Fu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles. This reminds me of Ursaring and Deer Slay, you know. During your adventure. I guess maybe because he's a Urshifu bear, is a right? Pokemon Cub Fu? I'm assuming ability. it's a bear. And it right? also has a new move for each of its two styles. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for this some online right. battles or official <laughs> competitions. We also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Intellion, okay. final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Gala region. During your adventure Ursaring's in the Isle cousin of from the East, right? Like, literally, that's what it is. To Gigantamax. You can look forward to seeing their okay, new Gigantamax forms, their new forms for the, the starters. And as you can see here, Tutor we've got even more in the works to make sure your Apricorns, journey is as smooth and fun as charms. possible. There are new hey, the gear. Items. The gear. And you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. Is that Rotom? We hope you'll look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of Armor. Okay, so this looks like they're really... Honestly, I feel like they should be... They should always go in. When it's a Pokemon game, they need Next, to go in every like single time. The, the fact that they're actually really going the in on the first, like, Pokemon game that's gonna be on the Switch 
The well, I mean, not the first Pokemon game, but I'm the first, like... I'm going the information we have at the moment. Generation Pokemon game. It's, like, actual Pokemon game, not, like, Let's Go Junior or Pikachu, whatever the snow-swept realm of the Crown This is Pendulum. actually a game. Take a look for they're yourself making, at they're the going beautiful all the way scenery in. of the shining silver They got the swag. They got, he got all the swag. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this Excited frigid area, the, yeah, this with its really towering good. winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokemon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe... This reminds me, like, I don't know why, in my head, the first thing I'm imagining is, like, the unknown, like, area. Person like in the person will the appoint you as the leader games. of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. So what was it called? You can gear up for adventure. The and then head Unknown out to explore fucking temple and even deep inside Pokemon dens, which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Those outfits, though. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokemon you'll discover during your adventure. Calyrex. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a it's part of Galar so that adorable. included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized Fairy by its graceful, psychic movements. grass. Get okay. ready to experience a never-before-told story about the mysteries of Calyrex. The Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon the dens that exist. The Ruins of Alp. I was like, is it Ruins? I wanted to say Ruins of Alp, but I'm just like, I don't want to say it is wrong. So I'm like, oh, the Ruins? Pokemon the Temple? The Temple? The Dynamaxing before your eyes. You'll be able to meet <laughs> and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokemon during your adventures in the Crown Tundra. Oh including shit! Including ones you'll be able to catch through this co-op play. Okay, that's cool. It also cool. appears that some brand new legendary Pokemon are also waiting to be found somewhere else. So you can just find land. some fucking legendaries that no one knows about that are just Island brand Armor, fucking new. Dozens of new clothing items will be added. That's Plus, fucking gross. Oh my god, they're going to in. Once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into this the looks details really of good. This is a lot of fucking and content. New ways to enjoy Pokemon, even as we speak. Okay, the, the new legendaries, like just in a random fucking DLC, I feel like it makes it necessary. On. You have to get well, the DLC. Galarian Articuno is badass. Yo, this is gonna be crazy. Where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. There will be Pokemon dens as well. You'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. So you can't. Wow. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so please stay tuned. So they're just going to be announcing new shit. A lot of new shit. Until this shit comes out. What did you think? It was awesome. That was a lot of information. Are all working hard Imagine we get a fucking content. Smash character announced right now. So you can spend more time that would be hilarious. In the gallery region. I would be shocked because, like, how did we I not see it all? As we are for what's to come. Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. Okay. There will be more than 200 Pokemon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokemon mentioned before. Eight. Additionally, we'll be distributing. Wait, that was you Pokemon didn't know that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that, that was a guy. I don't want to assume it's gender. I don't want to assume it's gender, but I'm pretty sure that was a guy. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra through other means. Oh, so you can trade? Okay. Players will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their Pokemon game from the cloud service Pokemon Home as long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. I think packs. so, dude. Wait, what happened? That, yeah. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. Dang, so this is like we intend to release even more. I'm assuming that's like the equivalent so to Pokemon please wait Bank. Just a little bit longer. Right? If I'm not mistaken. It was a girl. And who and said it was a girl? We have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. <laughs> Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, 
and Gigantamax, Gigantamax Lapras or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Okay. Face these powerful Pokemon with your friends. There will also be a software update going live available later today. What is the update though? Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Sword, you'll hey. encounter Clara. While Clara. in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. Can you catch it? You can try to catch it and add it to your team. Galarian Slowpoke Austin can John evolve plays into Galarian Slowpoke if you use an item or that her or whatever on the Isle of Armor. Damn. Or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Damn, Don't this... forget to check it out. Yo. What did you think? Today, a we've lot finally of been able a to show you stuff. some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. I need a Nintendo Direct we like this for Smash. To get you excited for like, the continuing if they, if they just give us a Nintendo Direct like this for Smash, I wouldn't lose my Crown shit. Tundra. It would just be so cool. Like, I always am so excited for Smash characters. I don't even know, like, I am not the biggest Smash player, because I'm I'm okay at the game. I don't, I literally lost my game. I think I lost it in New York, but I'm always so hyped for it. It's a lot of content for fucking Pokemon. We'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future. My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield so Expansion June Pass, and in which fall. contains both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop. Only thirty dollars is not bad. Bro, I'm gonna have to buy we'll the whole game and the Nintendo DLC at the same time. Directly from the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield menu. Once you install the latest the best update Smash for your game, when they announce every Smash character. Oh, that, that was the also best. Some that was literally the best. Starting today. Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 Never assume one's gender. <laughs> to bring fun and joy to people around the world. Thank you for tuning in. They did. I think this was a really good direct. They gave a lot of shit. Like